Hey guys, it's Jacob Kirk here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I do have uh, two mystery boxes to unbox today, and it is uh, two £20 mystery boxes from Funko Europe. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so here are the two mystery boxes that I did get from Funko Europe. So, on the website, uh, there's not really much about them. It is literally just says mystery box two packs. It's complete blind, you know, hit of them. Usually with bigger companies like Popular Box, you know, Funko Europe, companies that aren't dedicated to mystery boxes, usually the pops suck. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to find out today. See if they're actually worth it, and see if you know if they release any more. I'm not sure if there is any more on the website right now. You guys will have to just go and check. But yeah, if they do release any more, just to see if it's you know worth it, because uh, most of the time it's just you know companies releasing stock they can't sell so that's going to be testing today opening mystery boxes so you guys don't have to so hopefully um you know it is something good but i've not got my high hopes up so my expectation is you know it's really low so yeah let's get into it two mystery boxes for 20 pounds obviously 10 pounds per pop so that's kind of what we're looking for looking for you know good value hopefully get more than that 40 pounds value uh, but yeah let's get into it here's the first one obviously got no nothing to go by not even a picture um literally complete blind box I don't believe they posted anything about them. It's literally just, you know, we're selling mystery boxes, come buy them sort of thing. <laughs> Which, uh, it, I mean, in my head, it's definitely just a stock dump. But I'm happy to, you know, get pleasantly surprised. Hopefully it's something pretty cool. And uh, hopefully we can get some, you know, decent pops. Right, so, looks like they've got their own kind of sorters going on here. Okay. Here is the next part of the box. Let's chuck this to the behind me. Right. Okay, so let's open this up now. This is a, a very weird thing to open on the channel. <laughs> weird sort of box. So I don't want to actually look at the pops. So, okay, I've just, I thought this was the bottom of them, but this is what I can see. <laughs> so, uh, I do believe that it is Peacemaker and I believe that's Killmonger. So here is Peacemaker, a regular common Peacemaker. I'm sure it probably goes for you know, around £10, maybe probably less. But this is actually quite a cool pop, like half naked in his helmet. If you guys haven't seen this show, it's a very funny show. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I love uh, Eagly. Yeah, Eagly's a really cool, that would have been a really cool pop to get. And Vigilante is quite cool. He's a bit like a, De a Deadpool-esque character, so I do like him. But yeah, it was a very Deadpool-esque show, and uh, I guess that's why I really liked it. As you can tell, I do quite like Deadpool. So yeah, it was a very funny show, and I did enjoy it. Let's get into the next one, who I believe is a Killmonger. So it is, it's the, oh, okay. It's the Infinity Killmonger. Ah, this is a nice pop. So this is the Funko exclusive, or Funko Shop exclusive. Obviously, we're gonna probably get, you know, one of these in every box, uh, just because they've got, you know, quite good access to them, Funko Europe. So <laughs> yeah, Infinity Killmonger is actually a very nice pop, and What If is actually one of my favorite shows, Marvel shows that have been uh, released recently. I just think this is an absolutely awesome pop, and a very cool, Cool pop here so yeah that is very nice we've got two actually really decent pops right now i am you know more than happy with these two pops i don't know if these guys have much value but yeah i'm very happy with that uh, as a, a good start so let's get into the next pop or the next box hopefully it's something cool uh looking for another cool you know funko europe exclusive hopefully they don't do this thing where you know they just release duplicates of boxes that would kind of suck but hopefully it's not a duplicate and hopefully they do have you know a, a wide variety but we'll find out now, so obviously I'm just gonna get it out. I'm gonna try and open it so I just see the bottom of the boxes so I don't, you know, get it spoiled for me straight away because I knew exactly what they were just based off the, you know, the top of the top of the box there. Because they're not in bubble wrap or anything, which is really annoying. So I'm gonna try and open this. So this is the kind of thing they come in. It's quite a weird sort of uh, cardboard box. But uh, this is, I guess, the bubble wrap uh, for the box, which is nice, they're double box, so it's good packaging so far. Uh, which is decent. Usually with these bigger companies, then they don't care too much about the packaging, which is kind of crazy. A company like Funko should do their packaging, but they just don't for some reason. And same with Pop in the Box. They're just, you know, massive company and they put like tiny little bit of bubble wrap and call that bubble wrap. So yeah, I think the smaller companies obviously take more care. You know, collectors know how you want things packaged. So I'm going to open this. Okay. So I've just looked at it and this is what I can see. <laughs> so this is something I was afraid of. Oh, I mean, I can't really odds that. I tried to open it from the bottom and this one's the other way. I'll play around. So, um, 
Looks like we do have a, another Peacemaker, and this is exactly what I was just mentioning. Duplicates and stuff, which means that this is a stock dump because I've ordered two boxes. Chance of getting the same pops uh, is very, very slim in other mystery boxes. You know, pretty much unheard of if you buy two boxes. So, yeah, that's pretty crap. So there's clearly a lot of uh, Peacemakers in there. If I get another Killmonger, then that will be really annoying. So let's get into the last pop of the... £40 Funko Europe Mr. Box, which I'm pretty much just going to call it. So, let's get into it. 3, 2, 1. What is it, guys? And, yep. Stock dump. Stock dump Mr. Box. I mean, if I bought one, I'd actually be really happy. But, as you can tell, don't buy this Mr. Boxes because it is just a stock dump. And I guarantee these guys don't have much value. Even though I think this pop should have a lot of value, I think this is a really nice pop. And, you know, it could do, but it's kind of annoying the way they do this. It doesn't make it a mystery. Like, if everyone gets the same thing... It's not a mystery box, you know, I think that's quite bad from Funko Europe, but um, obviously they're not really involved in the Funko Pop, you know, mystery box market, so they can just, you know, go about their business however they like, um, but as someone who opens mystery boxes and sells mystery boxes, this is something I will never do, and I will always state if you're, you know, prone to getting duplicates, and if that is the case, you know, the chance of you getting a duplicate is so, so slim, even if I sell, you know, 30, 40 boxes, the chance of getting a duplicate is harder than getting the top hit so yeah for for me to get duplicates is, is really crap because it just you know it deters me from either buying a mystery box from these guys yeah that, this will probably be the first and last mystery box from funko europe because i don't agree with anything like this but this was the reason why i wanted to do this video it's because uh, you know to tell you guys away from you know trying these mystery boxes they still might have some decent value because i'm hoping this guy goes for a little bit um, obviously we are paid i've paid 10 pounds uh, a pop basically and I've got one decent one and one crap one. So hopefully the, the values kind of balance out as like 15, five pounds maybe. Okay, so the two Peacemakers are going for actually a very decent amount. Well, it's Peacemaker in underwear and they are both going for 14 pounds. So that's actually pretty decent. So that's 28 pounds in total so far. Okay, so the, the Infinity Killmonger from What If is surprisingly the cheapest one of the box and uh, they are going for six pounds, so it's literally my exact estimate, just the other way around, which is kind of crazy. So uh, let's add that on to the twelve pounds, and we have exactly hit our target of forty pounds. Um, forty pounds paid, forty pounds uh, returned. So value-wise, it's decent. Mystery box-wise, it absolutely sucks, and do not buy these mystery boxes, uh, please. So um, I kind of knew that going into it. Obviously, this was just a little experiment. Uh, so just you know basically warn you guys uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this terrible mystery box video uh, don't forget to check out my mystery boxes they're actually decent on my website at www.growgeek.com and don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know if i'm go live and I'll catch you next one